what is an angioplasty ring and how does that benefit your heart if you get that done or placed or put in there <laughs> well i'm going to cover that so stay tuned and don't go anywhere Hey, this is Lance McGowan, the Tropical Smoothie Guy. We're going to talk about angioplasty rings and how they can reshape or strengthen your natural valve annulus. We're going to talk about that in the next section. Hey, this is Lance McGowan, the Tropical Smoothie Guy, and we're going to talk about another type of valve repair using the annuloplasty rings. And though valve replacement surgery is very common, your doctors will always prefer to repair your natural valve before replacing it when the outflow valves, aortic and pulmonary are not functioning properly. A balloon catheter can sometimes be used to restore more normal function. And this is called valvuloplasty, just like angioplasty is used to open coronary arteries. Repair of the tricuspid and mitral valves usually requires open heart surgery to repair a damaged valve leaflet or a weakened valve annulus. And this module presents some of the most common procedures to repair the valves of the heart. And so the annuloplasty rings is what's being featured here. You can see one is kind of in a different shape, almost like a C, and then one is an O. But annuloplasty rings can be used to reshape and strengthen the natural valve annulus. Tricuspid valve is here to the left and the mitral valve is to the right. So it kind of depends what type of valve you're working with, but that will determine basically what type of ring is used to strengthen everything. These rings are really important for reshaping and strengthening the natural valve annulus in your heart. And there's, you know, a couple areas. You got the tricuspid valve, and you have the mitral valve where these rings can be placed to kind of support them and give them that extra kind of strength when your heart needs it. And this is going to be one of the types of procedures that can be done in addition to the other types of valve repairs that you've probably seen in my other videos. Well, that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click the subscribe button so you can watch more videos like this one or click one of the links in the description box below so you can continue to get your learn on.